Welcome back to an episode of Six Shooter TV. Today, Chris and I, and Tyler, you'll see him later, are gonna be building a uh, AR-15 pistol, and it's going to be uh, chambered at 5.56.223. It's a kit that we that Chris ordered off of. Uh, OutdoorSportsUSA.com. Okay. We did the unboxing video of it last week, so this is our build video. This is not a tutorial at all. It's more of just like a watch us build it, and, uh, and maybe you can pick up a few things along the way. Uh, but cool, definitely cool little uh, pistol kit. So let's get into it. Okay, so spring first. Spring first. And then, yep, it just kind of fits up in there. And then um, kind of push it in there with a magazine release button and just kind of hold it into place. And then you punch. And then I'm push, pushing on the button itself. All you the way could, inside? No, on the, on on the, the actual, actual button, button, yeah. But you can push it on the screw, but then you're just running your screw up against the punch, whereas with the button, you're just, you're just pushing it on the button. Just, Crank it in and then just start screwing it in more. Until it's flush. Until, until the screw's up against again. Well, yeah, until the screw's kind of flush with the button on this side. This way? Yep, yep, sorry, with the, yes, the little the little piece that basically goes inside of the spring and then the round, rounded piece on the outside. And then that guy is just gonna be right there. If you want to use that one <laughs> instead, do that. I haven't built them using a mallet at all. I don't need just in case. I, I just wasn't sure if you're that worried about digging it on the side. You could try it if it doesn't work, then you can switch to the other one. So do that. Um, I would use probably this guy because it's a little, a little oh, cave in there. Yeah. They actually make a bullpen starter punch that, that you go, it goes into it and it like actually holds yeah, it for you. Yeah. Um, so I mean that- Is there a channel in that? Yeah. No, yeah. Oh yes, yeah. So it, it compresses as it goes inside of there. So I think okay. that's why they call it the bullpen is because it rolls in on itself. Gotcha. So the pressure is what kind of keeps it in place. Okay. Uh, is how it works. That's why having just a little bit of lubricant on it just helps it go into place a little bit easier. Gotcha. Um, I do have one that has, it's actually a little spike, which kind of holds onto them, but I think when I started it one time, it actually started going into expanding the roll pin and expanding yeah. the roll pin, and that's gotcha. kind of the opposite, opposite of what we want. Yeah. Um, and, um, and there you go, if you want to just let me know. Um, <clears throat> but what I do is I kind of hold the pin and the punch together, right. and then I focus on hitting this end properly, um, to make sure that I'm not whacking my lower. Well, I hitting going anywhere. <laughs> hitting my Hammering the, where the buffer tube screws in. Yeah. <laughs> Why is this thing not going in? Um, this is going to be the giveaway of the years. If you want, I mean, I'm more than happy to jump in and do it. Like it. Yeah. There you go. I'd shoot it. I 
scratch. <laughs> yeah, looks good to me. It blows up in his face. <laughs> <laughs> I shoot a deer gun. Is the buffer like in his in his cheek? <laughs> All right. Um, cool. The next one is going to be the front uh, pivot. Oh, pin. this was a really fun one, right? This was a super fun one. Um, Let me give it a shot. Okay. Now, I don't have an extra one of those, so if you do lose this piece, um, well, that's that's going to be one of these springs and then one of these detents. Okay. And are these the same? They're basically the exact same thing. Okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. So, I, I can show you, do like a dry run of my... Yeah, I kind of saw how you, so, how you did it. Spring so, spring, in, detent. Detent, and I use the, the needle nose to hold them in place. Right. Get this guy through and like you're gonna have to like, like like kind of angle it and like push it in there. I gotcha. And then you you really carefully just have to push, just transfer it, but it's under a lot of pressure and it's gonna want to fly out of there. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Does it matter directionally? It shouldn't because okay. both ends should be nippled, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to put my like, hand there and just try to catch it, maybe. But even that piece is a little rounded. It's gonna be your front takedown, okay, and it's gonna go in that channel, right. so you need to go that way. Yep. Right. The train's different. You don't switch a reel. Oh. I see what you mean by that. See what I mean? That left felt like I didn't even move it, and it just yep, shot out of it. Okay. Where's the spring at? Right here in my hand. Oh, yeah. nice. The old switch a reel, huh? Didn't yeah. work this time. I'm like holding this thing and I'm like, this isn't that hard! <laughs> I did see one guy do it with an actual, a bigger Allen wrench, and it seems to make the transfer a little easier, so I don't know if you, know, if you want to try something else. Um, you can try that Allen right there if that's the right size. It, we, we, we want to look for something that basically fits that whole Identical. piece there. Um, but then the, it's, that little guy's, no, not that one, but... Yeah. They actually make a, it's a piece that goes in and there's a, a, a hole through it so you can, and it's the exact size as the takedown pin. <clears throat> you put it in there, but there's a hole drilled through it and you push the detent into place oh. and then you rotate it um, so it holds it in place and then you just move the detent out and it's good to go. Take a breath, get your zen. Dude, so when it when it caught, uh -huh. enough of this was sticking out that it <laughs> this caught and I couldn't push back against it. Yep. Uh, so now we test it for puncture. So it'll stop. Good to go. Stop right there. Get back in. Nice. Oh. Don't, don't be an idiot and take it out like don't I did. <laughs> okay. All right. What's next? Excellent. So now, um, next piece. We work on the trigger. The trigger guard can kind of be whenever. Like the last um, kind of thing. We can do it last, we can do it now. It doesn't, it doesn't really have, it doesn't okay. matter when we put it in. Um, let's go ahead and since we have it in the block like this, let's go ahead and do the trigger. Okay. Um, so let's spin it back. Yeah, I guess whichever way you're comfortable building, um, whether you want to, whether, however you're comfortable kind of putting it together. Um, I don't know yet how we're putting it together. <laughs> right. That's true. Yeah, 
Not again like that. Um, sorry. This guy will have, I think that's going to be the little bit more flared end. So that's going to go down inside of that piece right there. You can see there's a little yep. piece cut out for it. And then this guy <coughs> is going to sit on top of that spring right there. Gotcha. And then these holes are going to line up that Cut. with one of these. Cut. Um, and that's where having, again, a punch just to get it in there, punch it in place. I would put the punch in from the back okay. um, to get it in place. And then we can work on putting the pin through and then the punch will just fall. Okay. Perfect. Um, so then... I would put the... This one. Correct. Yeah, I would put the spring in. Go ahead and put the spring in now. And that little cut there. Line it up, um, yep, just like that. When you line it up, that piece you're gonna kind of like push it down to, to kind of get it aligned. Um, I got you. Yep. Okay. So then this will drop in. Yep. Kind of go straight down. Start getting it through, and once, because you've got all these kind of holes to line up, mm -hmm. it, you'll kind of have to. Do you said it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter which direction. Okay. I, I, of all the videos that I've watched, I have not seen somebody say this is the correct direction, this is the wrong direction, or anything like that. Um, and you may need a hammer or a mallet to just finish it off a little bit. this chair out for just a second and look at something. Sure. There might be, I think I saw this. It's just a matter of just lining it up just fine. Okay. Yeah. It, I mean, it, it goes, it all, it all lines up. It's just not getting yeah. it. Getting it lined up correctly. Yeah. Get it yeah. All right, you know. Cool. And 
and that piece in the middle. Gosh, I wish I could remember the name of that piece. Um, you good? Sweet. Yeah. You want to finish it off there? Those aren't under, like I said, those aren't under ridiculous amounts of pressure. Gotcha. Your fingers can move them in. As I've been shooting, I think the first AR that I built, I've noticed that one of them will just not even move a lot, but just the teeniest little bit, and I'll look up there and just pop push it back in. Yeah, just push it back in. Yeah. Um, or if you want to get real crazy, you can get the anti takedown ones. So this guy, this spring is going to go around these little bits, and this piece here is going to. So it's going to go up against it like that. And then it's going to go back here and you're going to bend it down and push it in. Okay. Um, if that makes sense, it's really horrible directions. parts working together trying to get that pin through you just have the gotcha. one piece it is still under quite a bit of pressure because of that spring so you'll want to definitely hold that hammer into place okay. um, but as far as getting the, the pin through there it is a hair bit easier because you don't have so much it's weird that there's two notches on there like that and there's no specific direction yeah I don't I haven't found it if you find it or if you let me know Same spot as I did last time, just to, on the lip. Just want to just grab a punch real quick and just finish it off. Are you okay, man? Yeah, no, go ahead. Finish. Finish it. There you go. Life is good. Function tested. Locks in place. Do you remember how my when we were shooting my pistol yeah. out there and it wasn't resi resetting itself? Yeah. It was because the hammer and the trigger the piece that connects it down there was uh -huh. too sharp of an edge. Oh. Um, and literally, so I would shoot it, it would cycle, and I'd have to push the trigger forward to huh. reset it, and then I could pull the trigger again. And I just sat, literally, I took it, my gun apart one night, and I just literally sat and just did the hammer, hammer, and just like kind of rubbed that piece, yeah. and it loosened, broke it, it kind of broke it in enough, and then now, now it cycles just fine. Yeah. Safety? Cool, trigger. Um, <clears throat> Let's do, yeah, we can do the safety. Um, and then with the safety, that will also install the pistol grip. Cool. Um, so what we'll do is we'll take this guy off. Um, flip the vice block. You know what's gonna happen here, Tyler? What's that? It's gonna be inverted. <laughs> it's gonna be like. It's cause I was inverted. <laughs> So what we're going to do is with the safety.
safety. Okay. I'll just move this up a little bit because the uh, button was getting hit. It was hitting uh, on the device. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you. Who's right? No, it's good. The uh, oh, crap, thanks. The no, bolt catch. Yeah. So we grab a safety selector, pop it in there, and um, actually it'll come through on this side. Yeah, it'll actually come through on this side. So this one. Yep. It needs to be in the, f oh, you know, it has to be, hammer has to be locked. Okay, so don't touch the trigger. <laughs> um, pop that guy in there, it'll go in. You said put it into? The fire position. Should be, we'll drop the detent down. Do we want it in auto position or the semi? <laughs> you want full it in semi -auto. full semi-auto. Full semi-auto. Full semi-auto. Semi how this works. So this is this one of those rifles that? Um, yes. Is this one of those ones that shoots like 30,000 rounds a minute or something? Only if you take out certain parts. Okay. Um, yeah. So then what you're going to want to do is, it's a little weird, but your spring goes into the hole that's in the pistol grip, and you're just going to kind of set it down into place okay. and try to get the spring in here and try not to let the spring bend, bend at all. or kink or anything like that. Um, it is a pretty tight fit with that pistol grip on there. You just kind of shove it down into place and it goes in. You're going to be all nervous with the spring, though. <laughs> so the spring's not under a ton of pressure. You know, that's the nice thing. Um, you can honestly kind of hold the spring there and then start putting the pistol grip down. Um, and if it starts to get kinked, just pull the grip off. It's super easy. There you go. This guy is a little tricky. You'll get this screw down into place there. Um, you can see a hole down inside the pistol grip and then you just screw it into place, uh, hand tight, it's pretty good. Did that hang on to it for you too? Yeah. yeah nice. Pretty cool, huh? That's awesome. I just picked up my little drill press the other day. Forty bucks on Craigslist. Yeah. I think it's just like a junky like Harbor Freight one, but dude, it works. Yeah. And then I got this from my grandparents for free. Nice. Right here. That's awesome. Yeah. Good. Good. Sweet. Um. <clears throat> let's go ahead and do. While it's upside the, down. While it's upside down. Um. Go ahead, pop in the trigger guard. Um. I think honestly we could pop in the front piece first. Drop it down over there, and then just gently Perfect. tap Before it Before you do in. that, do you want to um, drop the hammer? That way you don't accidentally hit the, the trigger. Yeah, good call. Just in case you accidentally hit that trigger and then it dry fires and it breaks your hammer. Tell it's like a new gun with how like like clicky everything is and like <laughs> more use it it'll wear it out and kind of just wear it better. So this will be the roll punch that goes on that one. Okay. Um, and again, we'll probably want to get a punch through this just to get it started. I I had a thinner punch. And I broke it on one of my last builds. Kind of bummed that I did that. This will work. So go ahead and that one will probably honestly be okay. Um, and just, I would yeah, just be super gentle. Um,
Let's get her some back out. Going? Okay, it's starting to go. Yeah. I was going to say, do, 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 do you want that the, first? Yeah, put the Chris? buffer oh. in and bring in there. This guy in first. Okay. So just drop that into that little thing right there, that little one right there. And you're going to screw that uh, buffer tube in until... Yep, yeah, you're just going to screw it in basically just until it touches that piece right there. Okay. And then you put the spring in, I see what you're saying. Once you get it down a little ways, then you can put the spring in. Do I want to get this? So right until it touches it, and then go ahead and push that piece down. Do I want to go ahead and get this so it's held down before I put the spring in? Um, yes. Okay. Yep, so push that piece down, go ahead and do one more rotation, just until it's kind of covering it, but not like up against it super hard. I think that's good. You want to go back like a hair of a turn though? Yeah. I think, should it be in that little channel? I think that's probably, I would honestly call it good right there. Okay. Um, it just seems like those two little flanges are all that's holding it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. But I maybe. That makes sense. Um, just just those two little points is all it looked like was holding it. Yeah, but I but think. But then again, we also want to make sure that the but the holes are pointing down, like dead down. Which is where, oh no, that channel, so that channel does have to go down. Um, and I don't know. I bet you that goes in the channel. Uh, I think you're correct, sir. Punch? Yeah, just give a little punch, push that guy down, just go back one more. I think we should even go one more to get it all the way into that channel. Yeah. It's about halfway in there right now. Well, the trick is, is with your upper though, if that piece is sticking out too much, Oh, I, mean, I see what you're your saying. Upper is not gonna go down all the way right there. I know what you're saying. Okay. So do we need to go back one? I'm then? almost concerned that that's yeah. That's too much, isn't it? It does look like a little too much because I don't know that your upper will. Has enough play in it, but I wouldn't go any. I wouldn't. I don't think you have any room to go forward anymore. Okay, personally. Perfect. Um, then we won't. But that'll put the holes dead on the bottom, though. It should because what we have is um, that piece is aligned with with those pieces there. Yeah. So yeah, that, that makes sense. That it's all aligned and ready to go. Perfect. Then what you want to do is actually we're gonna turn this just a hair more. Do you get that spring in? just to get it past, to get that spring in. And then oh, we'll hold the spring in. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. Probably help. Did the pin start to fall out? <laughs> the pin went straight through. Yeah, the pin went all the way through. I forgot about that part. Okay, we'll just tilt it. Whole gun falls apart. <laughs> what do you guys need? Um, 
that? No. No, it's not that bad. You got that spring out there, Chris? I did. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, just pick it up out there and shake it. Take down pin <laughs> with the uh, notches that way. Notches that way, yep. Little dude, detent, spring. And basically, you'll test this just to make sure the notch is there. Yep, yep, just clean it. And you'll kind of push that pin in and then roll that piece back so that plate is covering that. It might be... Yeah, so that plate will cover that. And then the casting nut will just screw up against it. You just screw that castle nut on there the whole way. Just do it uh, on tight. And then grab one of these wrench. And then those pieces will kind of line up with those pieces there and just, just kind of tighten it down. Uh, you don't have to like ultra super torque it. your bullets casing baby's to what so the I mean what 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 that's doing is when your so your bolts right here um barrels right here bullet is in battery fire the trigger that's where your hammer comes up hits your firing pin bullet shoots out and then this whole piece then your hammer comes back this whole piece comes sliding back into here your hammer goes down and then that's where the spring compresses and then this piece shoots back forward being your next gotcha. one in place um, so there's a lot of energy going on back there you want to make sure it's down <laughs> you know, it's pretty the, uh, buffer uh, spring and buffer, yep. Does it, it doesn't like, matter. this little hole just do anything? There is, it's, there's weights in there. Gotcha. So when all that force comes back, it kind of absorbs that. Um, and I don't know, I'm sorry. Remember you gotta compress that little? Oh, and, yeah, you gotta push the little thing down. You can do it with your hand or say, a punch. Little... Yeah, just put a little punch down in there. It'll... Thank you, sir. Um, and then, yeah. Put that dude on. <clears throat> Dip it into place wherever you want. And you've got yourself a lower receiver. Not exactly sure yet, but. Cool looking. Yeah. One of my coworkers, I don't know. Said that the ATF just announced that it wasn't illegal to shoulder. Inadvertently shoulder. You can't like yeah, all day, but it's not. If it happens to happen, it's not gonna get you sent to jail. That's cool. Is that is that that's, is that like a nationwide thing, or is that just for the state of Oregon? I don't know. In California, these things are still like uh, probably frowned upon. I'm pretty sure you can't do anything in California. Gotta get a bull button. 
installed on that piece. And you can, can't have more than like a what seven round mag or whatever it is now. I think they they repealed that. I oh, did they? I think I think there was a judge that. So it's back up to ten. Has <laughs> two cents and he was like, "That's just dumb." Like, no. Sweet. Is that it? See, that's a brace. Dang. <laughs> I like it. And if it happens to. Whoops. <laughs> What's next, Fearless Leader? I freaking love it. So, so I wonder if we threw an upper on that, mm -hmm. hypothetically, and shouldered it, <clears throat> even though it's registered as a pistol, I wonder what would happen. You so as long as it's registered, tell me if I'm correct on this, because I want to, uh, maybe you don't know. As long as it was registered as a pistol to begin with, it started its life as a pistol, it can go back and forth. Huh. But if it was registered and as created rifle. as a rifle, it can never it's become a pistol. That, yeah. makes, that makes sense. So if I, because this is a pistol, yeah. it was bought as a pistol, everything is as a pistol, I could throw an 18 inch barrel on it, mm -hmm. an upper, and use it as a rifle, and then tomorrow throw the 7 inch back on and keep it as a pistol. Yeah. Have you ever heard of the can cannon? No. Did I show you that? Oh, I think you did, yeah. The blanks? Yeah. You shoot blank 5.56 five, five, and it just replaces the upper? Yeah. Cool. Your lower is done, sir. That's fucking awesome. Um, Yeah, we got the C clamp in place. Okay. Um, so we started a little bit. We got the C clamp <laughs> on the groove of the um, <clears throat> of the. So this is gonna lay on this notch, right? I believe so. Yes. But this is the side that needs to be twisted once. Correct. I think so, yes. You're gonna push it through as you hold it. specific notch or something on this side that it goes or is just the up against the wall uh there's a hole back there that it should go through okay and we might need to punch or it should it just go by hand yeah it should be enough to go by hand yeah there's a there's a hole in the back that it should be going through i think right there here Wiggle it around a little. There, there you go. Oh, perfect. Great. And just do a quick test. Close it. It should close. And then. Yep. And then if you pop the top of the inside, it should fly right open. Done. And then do you have to put the little uh, C clip there? We already did. They gave There's us the one in the front. Oh. In the, the handguard, like on your AR. The your handguard actually is what holds it into place, um, so it doesn't move. It basically the seat oh, yeah. keeps it from going back, and then cool. this piece keeps it from going forward all the way. Yeah, see, so you have all these extra parts. Might as well just start building another one. <laughs> Alrighty. So now I'll actually transition this guy into the vice. Okay. Um, this little C clamp is actually a nice little piece to have. My gift to you for helping. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so nice Along with any other spare parts. You don't want to keep spare parts. They're nice to have.
your um, fort assist. Fort assist, thank you. So the claw goes. The claws, yep, that way. that way. And you're gonna push it in, they say, until you can see daylight. And then grab something to keep it under pressure. And then this guy will hammer straight down. Fucking punches. <laughs> I'll do this one you want. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Before you shoot it, you'll definitely want to kind of basically go over and do a cleaning on it. <clears throat> Get it all nice and lubed up. Go ahead and move that a little more in the frame for me. Yeah, Sorry. for sure. Mm -hmm. In the frame here? Yeah, right uh, okay. that one. Okay. I like to do lots of small little taps as opposed to like da, da, da. for sure. Oh, cool. cool. Ford assist is done. Awesome. Excellent. Um, I think the barrel's gonna do the next part. <clears throat> so with the barrel.
I've heard it's good to put some lubricant. That was all lined up, yeah. keep this piece in here. Like a hole in there? Um, yeah. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, I don't, I don't even know how. Um, yeah. You're gonna use a punch for this part? I'll probably switch over to a punch. I just want to make sure that I get it started and it's getting in there, and I don't want to misalign it. I don't want to misalign it. I'm just trying to think if, now that I've got it in there, if it wouldn't be easier to finish it when it's on the barrel. I have no idea. I think it might. Okay. And it, if anything, we just pull it off. We just finish it if, it, if it's not any easier. So let's go ahead and do okay. the barrel for right good. now. Um, you want to grease it? I'm going to grease it. <laughs> You want to get dirty? Uh, you can use that towel behind you too if you want, or right oh, there. Thanks. Okay. And then we'll just do a couple little just like that.
fit on there? It's a little wide for it. Um, hmm. I have a three fourths is the biggest my wrench set goes. Wrench is probably gonna be too small. Yeah, way too small. Um, I have another adjustable wrench that just goes wider, but it's... Just barely fit to grab it. I need to look through the box. I know, I've seen on some YouTube videos that they actually Worst case, I can uh, I can grind down the wrench really quick too. Want me to just grind this down real quick? This is not the first time this thing's been too wide, so it would be hurt if I had to grind down. Yeah, I mean that would that would basically be easy to get inside of there. trick is, I, mean, I guess the only thing is we don't know how hard we're torquing it to get it to the right torque setting, um, but I know it's a pretty hefty amount. Yeah, that, that, you could probably really wrench down there and have not, have it not be a problem. Looks like it's good because the whole thing was starting to move out of the vise. Yeah. So, if anything, maybe loosen a hair. Yeah, it doesn't. So there's no way we're to going make... to the next one. I thought the quite a bit of torque on. Well, one of these is a bit. Well, let's back it off and then go back down a couple more times to see if maybe we can make it to the next one. I don't know. Oh yeah, she's torqued. Here, try. And, did you loosen up a little? Um, That's a knuckle buster right there for sure. <laughs> so let's just do this. Here, let's see. I know we're not even close right now, but I'm just kind of curious if it. Uh... Right there, it's gonna line up, but there's like no torque on that. I don't, yeah. I don't know if we can make it to the next one though. Yeah, it lines up right there. Let's see, let me feel how much. Uh, I think this has to kind of be level basically. Mm -hmm. We made it a little farther, if anything. How much farther till that next one? Gosh, dang. I think, I honestly think it's right here is the. I mean, you've, got a, you've got some room in there. Um, but yeah, I mean, you don't, you don't want to over torque it. So? Well, I mean, well, maybe not. Yeah, look, it's like I think I was looking at a little bit of an angle. I think you might have it. All right, so this. 
check this out. This is breaking right about 30 pounds. And I definitely don't think we're putting that much. Um, so it lines up right there. It's not, I mean, it's, it's torqued down there. Like I put some pressure on it, but not probably maybe 20 pounds of you, I guess. Um, let me see if we, uh, there's no way we can, can't drill a square hole. I'm going to say if we put a hole in this, we could torque it using this. Just be a little bit too much too. Well shoot. I mean I guess the next thing we could try doing is like you said just keep going back and forth and see if we can kind of wear those threads in a little bit. Yeah, just roll it back one more time and then We are cranking on it. I don't think any of this is not gonna bend very well. Sort of. Yeah, see, I was watching the whole thing kind of like move in the vise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got it pretty far. Maybe try that. Let's see how close we are. Oh wait, no, we're on the wrong way, huh? I think I think if we have one of the screws lined up with one of with that port That's hole, what I was doing, it's yeah. probably gonna be. Let me try to. Are you going loose or tight? I'm oh. trying to tighten it just a hair. See if we can't get just one more. We can get one more hole on the rest of it. Yeah. Let's see. Gas block. Uh, so what we'll do is we will. And then also the, the flash um, suppressor on there too? Yeah. Let's just, uh, I guess you don't have to torque those down super tight, do you? Uh, just go around it. Suppressor, you shouldn't have to. I think 
Two step flow. So there's a divot in one of them uh, on the barrel, on this back one, and then the front one is just, I think, Now on it? Yeah. Okay, let me see. Let's work on that wrench down. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh, wait, this one's smaller, I think. There it goes. Oh. See, I'm gonna have one that fits. Use that other end if you really want to torque on it too. I don't know how much you need to torque on these. It just holds that thing in place and keeps it from. Sorry, do you want this? <laughs> You're good, dude. Okay. I put in screws to all sorts of things in my life. Okay. Chris, can you hit okay on that message up there? And see, so hopefully, we still have the. Is it still? Yeah, it is. So let's just go a bit of there. Sorry. No, you're okay. We got it on the second day camera too, so I'm not worried about it. As long as we won't have it on one of the cameras. Does it need a little bend in it? It has a bend in it. And there's only one way that this thing fits in there. I think I do need to have it in this piece before we put it in there. I apologize. Why is that? Because of where the bend is. Because it has a bend in it right there. Yeah. And I'm having to force it down too much to get it inside of here to mm -hmm. the point that I might 
kink it, it yeah. and I don't want to do that. Okay. Um, so I'm going to have to pull this piece off and put it in as one section, which isn't the end of the world. Um, it, it's easy enough to, to do that. We'll just, just tilt it up. So just tilt it up. Oh, okay. yeah. oh, you just meant like lift the whole thing. Yeah, up. I was like, just lift it up. We'll just take it out Use real quick. Use the modularness of it. Do we have to go all the way out, or we can just back them out a little really, bit? Really, we should just be able to back the gas block off. Just a little bit. Yeah, yeah half I'm going to do the whole way. Yeah. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah, there you go. Right. right there. Because then. The gas tube will go in there. There's a hole on the bottom there. There you go. Okay. Is that it? Good. Excellent. Sweet. I can see uh, kind of some daylight through there. Yeah. That looks good. Maybe hit that pin in now too. Yeah. Maybe double check that, that gas block's inserted all the way to, or not the gas block, but the gas tube is inserted inserted all the way. I'm pretty sure it is. Okay. Um, Cause yeah, like you're saying, you can see, you can see daylight through it, which, which is good. I think it's just it's just a tight fit. Okay. Now slide it back into place, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking, is it loaded? Um, now we will do the flash hider, and then and the flash hider should have a crush washer. Um, should just be a, a little. Yep, and it's flanged out, and the flange comes forward. forward pressure as you push, as you um, seat that guy back on there. And then that's where this guy... Do you have a special tool for it? Yeah, this Kay. is... Nice. 
man, it's almost like that tool's it's made for building an AI. Made for this. Uh, I'm not sure what the exact orientation of the port is supposed to be a certain way. I believe so. This would be on the bottom. Is it on the bottom? Yeah, the yes. port should be up, right? So yeah. the gas shoots up and the barrel stays down. Mm -hmm. uh, well, not only that, but so the dust doesn't, doesn't go flying, right? Okay. Yeah. So but it help, also helps with the barrel rise, right? I don't know about that. I've never heard of that before. But um, but from my limited knowledge, that you always want the block part of it on the bottom, so that way the dust doesn't kick right. up around you. Yeah, and no, you're correct. Both of those are accurate. Um, so having those go up. It allows the gas to go up, and then it pushes the barrel back down, so you can stay on target better. That's smart too. Yeah. Kill more Nazis. Fucking Nazis. So these, I don't know if they have a specific torque setting. Um, I mean, as long as they don't fall off. Yeah, as long as they just aren't. That's the torque setting. Don't fall off. Yeah. gives us a little bit to work with. Too bad it wasn't suppressed so we could do a couple test fires in the garage, right? <laughs> Dude, I for sure will one day. I, I just don't know what gun I want to go through it on. That's my difficult part. But I think an AR would be the best choice. That straight out looks good. My uh, my first AR that I built, you can see like my whatever muzzle device I put on there. I didn't torque it down all the way, and it's like just a hair off kilter. I'm like, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Who cares? Um. Cool. Screws for that. These guy goes on, and then it will get screwed. One, two, three, four. Screws go into place there. Did you say the other ones were? It should be this set right here. Oh, and I think some of those are your M lock stuff also. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's one of these screws. Uh, do you want to throw, before you throw that on, Tyler, do you want him to, do you want to add any rails? Um, first, my personal preference. Oh, wait, we need, I probably won't for right now. We do need, no, you're going to put your, oh, yeah, yeah, the grip okay. I am. So there's a rail over here, isn't there? I believe so. starting to come out with the composite ones or whatever. So those now, aren't these, do you have to put these in before or after? Can you do it after? Isn't it? You no, can I think it's before. before. I guess before would be easier. Um, these little guys. Maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Those ones will be the ones that also screw in on the sides. I don't think, were there any? No, they're tiny. They go in there? Yeah. Ah, oh, hell. That's all right. You can pull, you can that, take you that, can pull that four rib off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On there, you know, quick once. Because with your with the rail on there, it's super easy to get that yeah. in place. Does that feel good? Yeah. 
Because if not, we can try a metric. I'm not sure if it's metric or standard for these. Did it slip a little? A little bit. Yeah, it's the wrong size. Let me see. Let me go up to the... Uh... I think it came with these little... Try this one, Chris. This is a three millimeter. It might work better. Is that better? Yeah. That's weird that it's metric. I wasn't sure if it was metric or standard or what it was. for it is you just have to replace either buy a new bolt or buy a new barrel like there's not a way to so like regauge it kind of yeah thing. like regauge or anything it's just like these two items don't work together they're not compatible cool leave it there for just a second we'll just slide this guy on there this is your work with right here where you want it, Chris? Oh, there's a mark actually on it. It's on this one right here. See it? Is that good? That'll work for now. <laughs> Until I shoot it, I feel if my hand yeah. burns off or not. Yeah. way it is here. I know you start doing shit upside down. It's gonna make me out of here. I really like their um, hand guards because they're a nice like low profile. Like my pistol, the hand guards just it just feel like it just I don't know. Yeah. 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 Sights? Yeah. Sights and then put your bolt carrier in. Yeah here. Your bolt that carrier, guy. charging handle. Can I take that out? Yeah. How do you uh, put this in my pocket? No, I'm not happy here. <laughs> oh, there it goes. It's, uh, it's it's covered. Covered. I was so pumped when they gave me my backpack. Oh, yeah, we totally can do that. That's awesome. It's like, cool, because that's what I was going to buy, and I didn't want the thing you were going to send me anyway. So, these guys, um, you've got two little bump outs right there. And there's like a channel yeah, up inside goes up there, in there. Mm -hmm. and it kind of just goes up in there that right way. Your... And then your bolt goes in there. Click. There it is. That was a click I was waiting for. All right, guys, that was the the full build on the AR-15 pistol kit from USA Outdoor Sports? OutdoorsportsUSA.com. I can't get it. I'll never get it. Anyways, that was the full pistol kit. Uh, and what do you got to show for? Well, wow. 
sound effect and everything. Yep, right there. This little thing is badass. I love it. I'm definitely gonna have to consider picking one up. So, um, what did you think of the, your first AR-15 build? It was a lot of fun. Um, had a couple speed bumps along the way. Yeah. But There's one thing that, to be honest, we didn't show on camera at all, and that was the we didn't put the gas tube in all the way. So yeah, the gas tube got a little bit. Um, we we did it a little bit too short into the gas block, so the tube itself was going too far. Which didn't the allow the bolt to receive completely in. So we had a little bit of trouble. So we, we basically we were done essentially, <laughs> and then we got to tear it all back apart and redo it again. And not the whole thing, but just most of the way apart. Um, so that was fun. Uh, tightening down the barrel was quite a bit of work. We had to uh, tighten it, back it off quite a few times. I'm sure you guys noticed that earlier in the video. But uh, all in all, it's built pistol, and I don't know about you, but I'm excited to shoot it. It's not even gun. I can't wait. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. This is one of those ones where you borderline think about running up at nighttime just because of how excited you are to shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, uh, that's the video, guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and give this video a thumbs up if you like the content. Comment down below if you have any questions on this build, and I will do my best to answer them. And if I can't answer them, I'm sure maybe I'll get Chris to pitch in and, and help me out, or Tyler. And subscribe. Wow. Did you hear I got you. Okay. <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.